let us continue with this merciless crusade against these worthless mutants and their deranged owners. Why is it that dogs are so easy to hate? No other animal can make humans hate them the way humans hate dogs. Obviously, not all humans hate dogs, but there are millions of us who hate them. If I were in control of this planet, I would have all dogs on the planet exterminated, just like roaches and rats. Don't talk about animal cruelty. Rats are animals, and they are exterminated all the time for health and safety purposes. And I would have dogs exterminated for the same reason. I wish all world governments would exterminate all dogs, large and small. They are the only animals on this planet that I wish did not exist. I seriously hope some natural dog virus or bacteria emerges that wipes them out. I have absolutely no hatred at all for any other animal on earth. Only dogs. And I fail to understand how anybody on earth could not hate dogs. They are extremely hateable, loud, they're stupid, disgusting, annoying, they stink, they're aggressive, they are nothing but beggars, thieves, freeloaders, nothing but a waste of money and a waste of space. No animal on this planet should be killed in order to provide food for dogs in the way that animals today are killed to create dog food. Dogs should be used as food for other animals because all other animals on this planet are superior to dogs. All of them. We've created an entire industry to facilitate the comfort of their existence. And they have done nothing to deserve such treatment. All they do for humans is attack humans, attack our kids and pollute our water and contaminate our society in general. And after each attack, these stupid brain damaged dog lovers wipe the attack from their memory. All they do is say, oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I feel terrible about that. And then they go on about their life and continue to support the existence of these mutants. What a disgusting scenario. No other animal on earth looks disgusting. Only dogs. There is nothing uncomfortable about the appearance of a horse, of a cat or bird, etc. Only dogs look disgusting. They look so disgusting that they infuriate me. Just laying eyes on them. Filthy, dumb looking, ugly creatures. And I almost wish we would encounter an economic depression that would be so bad that people could not afford to take care of them anymore. 
And this would hopefully lead to world governments euthanizing all of them. And once the depression is over and the people could afford dogs again, there would be no more dogs left on the planet for them to purchase. I hate the attention that people give dogs, the status, you know, the veneration. People want everything to revolve around dogs. They're always trying to put the spotlight on dogs, trying to get other humans to pay attention to them, trying to include dogs in everything. I hate it. Dogs should not be included in anything that has to do with humans unless it is their extermination. Now, I'm not the one with the problem here. It is dogs themselves. They are to blame because, again, I respect all other animals and I believe all animals deserve to live. Dogs are not animals. They are mutants. They mutated from wolves. I hate the way dogs look when they eat. Like brainless, disgusting, worthless vermin that they are. They stuff their entire face into whatever they eat. And they eat extremely fast. The sight of a dog eating actually infuriates me. I hate their obsession with eating. It really reeks of brainlessness. Of all the animals on earth, why are people most obsessed with the most disgusting looking animals on earth? It is so bizarre to me. I hate the way dogs bother people. There is no other animal that forces people to ask the owner of the animal to get the animal off of them. You don't hear people saying to cat owners, would you please get your cat off of me? Cats respect boundaries. They have self-control. It's only dogs that are erratic. It's because they're not natural. No other animal is as invasive. Sticking their nose right in your face, in your crotch, bumping against you. So brainless and retarded. And I don't understand what people love about this type of deranged behavior. You have to be a deranged person yourself to want a creature like this as a pet. You really have to be seriously desperate for attention on a dangerous level. I hate the way people use dogs to make up for their own lack of character. Many of these dog nuts would lose confidence if their dogs were taken away from them, if they didn't have a dog to reach over and rub every five seconds, like idiots, like weirdos. They use dogs to give other people the impression that they are somebody, that they are a part of something. The dog lover cult. You are a part of something. A part of a huge group of weirdos. I hate the way, you know, people assume that something is wrong with you for hating dogs, but don't believe anything is wrong with them for being obsessed with dogs. And really, they are to blame. If it were not for their obsession with dogs, I would not hate dogs because I would never see them. I can't hate anything that has nothing to do 
with my existence. I hate the sound that dogs make, the grunting, all these meaningless, pointless grunts. No other animals do this. Only these deranged mutants. It's like the dogs are a reflection of the owner's retardation. And that's why they love dogs so much. The sound of dogs' nails clicking on the floor when they walk. Everything about a dog's existence deserves to be hated by any sane, civilized person. I hate the fact that people are so obsessed with dogs, that they have the nerve to allow dogs inside of our hospitals. Are you out of your mind? Inside of our dentist offices, schools, they assume that they have the right to impose their obsession with dogs onto others. If they have the right to do that, then I have the right to express my hatred for dogs. I hate the fact that millions of people have sex with dogs and those people will go on to have sex with humans and spread zoonotic diseases and bacteria throughout the human species. Disgusting. These people have had a permanent negative impact on the human species. It's disgusting. A pet that took a leak outside will still get some of that urine as tiny water droplets settling on its skin. And when that skin dries, it comes off as pet dander. Airborne particles get into the lungs and can cause breathing problems, just like any particulate matter, end quote. Quote, furry and feathered animals produce dander, a type of shedding made up of proteins from hair, skin flakes, urine, feces, and saliva. End quote. So when you go inside of a home of a dog nut, you are inhaling dog urine, saliva, and feces. Disgusting. When you date a dog nut, you are essentially having oral sex with that person's dog. Allergic reactions to pet dander may include runny and stuffy nose, scratchy throat, watery, itchy red eyes, a rash, or irritated skin. Now, I've heard several dog nuts speak, and many of them seem as if they are always congested, always dealing with serious sinus issues. They always seem to have some type of skin disorder, rashes, hives, etc. Talk about incompatible creatures. Before they had this voluntary relationship with a filthy mutt, they were in a healthy state, clear skin, and they were healthy. And afterwards, you come out with nasty rashes, ringworm, hives. The sound of your voice has changed because you have sinus inflammation. You literally have dog saliva and urine and feces all over your body and even inside your body. And you have the nerve to wonder why some people view you and your obsession with dogs as disgusting and abnormal. 
Now you have parasites, worms, inside of your body. Thanks to your disgusting physical relationship with a filthy scavenger. Should be common sense. As a human, you have instincts. When you walk through a forest or jungle and you get a whiff of a carcass and it gets stronger the further you walk, you'll know the most disgusting creatures on the planet because they will be feeding on that carcass. That's nature's way of telling you that you are to get away from this carcass and stay away from any creature that feeds on it. And these idiots of all animals on the planet want to bring those creatures inside their home, lick it, have sex with it. Absolutely disgusting. According to the CDC, over a hundred million Americans have parasites, worms, inside their bodies. The same parasites are also present in dogs. These people are literally a group, a population of infected, contaminated people. So I have a special hatred for dogs always have and I always will.